Abu Huraira started to give da'wah to his mother. And his mother was not accepting Islam. And what she would do is that they would, she would speak with him and they would have a conversation. And she just went and said, she goes, I'm not going to accept Islam. So once they got into a deep conversation, Abu Huraira and his mom, and she started saying some ill things about the Prophet ﷺ. So this hurt Abu Huraira really badly. Now he could not hear somebody, even his own mother who gave him birth, speak out against Muhammad Rasulullah So he quickly went to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He went to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he complained and he said to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Today I have, look at the way. So he is going now to complain about who? About his mother. And look at the words that he used even when his mom, mother had done something wrong. He didn't shun his mother or insult his mother. He said, Ya Rasulullah, today my mother has said some things, I've heard some things from my mom, which my ears could not bear. Eh. Oh Ya Rasulullah. Now you have this fatwa of these sisters and these brothers in the UK. You know, my dad's a Brelvi. You know, my mother's a, my dad's a Shia. Or my mother's Brelvi. I've been giving her dawah, she doesn't listen. Khalas, I'm making hajjah from her. Huh? Make hajjah from her. That's what they do. Uh, this is what the ignorant do. You know, we're sitting once in the company of our Sheikh, Rasulullah Abbas. And this new Muslim came to the Sheikh. And he said to the Sheikh, he said, Sheikh, you know, I've been giving my parents dawah from America. And I've been giving her dawah. And my mom's just not listening and this, this, this and that. Is it permissible for me to make hajjah for my mom now? The Sheikh, the Sheikh looked at me like this. He said to him, he said, Abika maj- abe junoon. This is what the Sheikh said to him. He said, Abika junoon. Abika junoon. Are you mad? Are you a madman? Are you a mad? The Sheikh said, Abika junoon. Ask him, is he mad? Abandoning your parents just because their deen is mukhtalif, there is no ta'a upon you with their religion. But serving your parents and being dutiful to your parents and having birrul walidain remains regardless of what madhab they remain upon. And this is the calamity of this country. Oh, my dad's a mushrik. He's a brelvi. No? My dad's this, or my mom's this, my brother's this. Break the ties. Allah al Abu Huraira, so the Sahih Masala is that you are bound, bounded that to be dutiful to your parents and serve them in everything and obey them in everything except for the deen. In deen you have no obedience towards them. Whether they're Barelvi or whether they this or whatever they do, whether you agree or disagree, harshness is not to be adopted. Look what happened. She's saying things about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and he closes his ears and he walks out. I don't want to hear this. He doesn't insult his mother. Huh? He is not disrespectful to his mother. So he goes to the Prophet and he says, Ya Rasulullah, a calamity for me, you know my mother. So what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi say? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he makes dua, he said, Allahumma ahdi, umma Abu Huraira. Oh Allah, guide Abu, the mother of Abu Huraira to Islam. When the Prophet ﷺ made this dua, he returned back home. What happened? The gift of Al Hidayah had entered the heart of this woman. And this shows that no matter how knowledgeable you may be, Abu Huraira, yeah, that which is that saved or guided his mother was the Hidayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, we cannot guide or misguide anybody. We can't bring anybody to the truth. We can be the means of guidance, but it's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that guides.